parenting tips. What can you expect during the first few visits to the pediatrician? The first visit to the pediatrician usually occurs within the first week of your baby's life. The pediatrician will check your baby from head to toe and watch for the degree of weight loss since birth. Up to 10% of weight loss is considered normal. The following visits to the pediatrician usually occur at one month, two months, and four months of age. These visits correspond to immunization visits. During these visits, your pediatrician will check your baby's growth by measuring his head, body length, and weight, his eyes for visual tracking and alignment, and ears for infection or fluid. The doctor will also listen to your baby's heart and check his lungs and abdomen for abnormalities. It is a good idea to bring a list of questions and concerns when you visit your pediatrician to make sure you get all the information you need. Here's a good rule of thumb. During the first two months of life, take your baby to a doctor every time he has a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Breastfeeding your baby has many great benefits. Breast milk, naturally designed for your baby, is easily digested and contains antibodies, which builds baby's immune system. Breastfeeding, just like bottle feeding, encourages bonding and attachment between mommy and baby. However, breastfeeding can sometimes be a real challenge. Some moms may have inverted nipples or cracked nipples. Others might find it doesn't come so naturally to them. Often moms need time to figure out just how to do it right. And they need lots of support in the process. Some moms need their own moms to help them. Others prefer professional help. Most hospitals have a lactation consultant on board. It is a good idea to get help right in the hospital by learning some tips on different breastfeeding positions and ways of relaxing. In fact, learning how to relax is one of the keys to successful breastfeeding. Dads can help too. They can feed baby breast milk in a bottle. They can bring baby to mom in the middle of the night for a feeding, support mom by giving her attention, and telling her she is doing a great job. How do you keep your baby's smile healthy? Here's some tips. The first teeth appear at age 6 to 10 months, and usually by age 3, all 20 baby teeth are in place. Once the teeth come out, it's up to you to clean them. As soon as there is one tooth in your baby's mouth, he can get cavities. When your baby has only a couple of teeth, you can use a piece of gauze to wipe and clean them. Avoid milk bottle syndrome. Don't put your baby to sleep with a bottle. The milk sugars will cause decay. At 18 months, you can start brushing your baby's teeth in the morning and before bed. Use a toddler toothbrush with soft bristles and kids toothpaste. You can take your toddler with you to the store and let him choose his own brush. That might encourage him to brush without a fuss. To help good habits, let your toddler brush, and then you brush his teeth. Take your child to the dentist for a checkup between the ages of one and two. <laughs> Statistics show that in his first three years of life, your baby might get sick three to eight times a year, and even more times if he is going to daycare or has a sibling. Symptoms of the common cold in children are runny nose, sore throat, coughing, and low-grade fever. The flu has similar symptoms that are more severe and at times also vomiting and diarrhea. If your baby has a cold or flu, you can clear your baby's nose using a suction bulb. Your baby will not enjoy this, but it's important to do, especially before feedings. Put a cool mist humidifier in baby's room. Offer extra fluids, especially when the fever is higher. You can give your baby some medication to lower his fever, but consult your doctor first. Watch for decreased feedings and urination. 
Those might indicate your baby is dehydrated. Watch for persistent symptoms. A cold or flu usually lasts five to 10 days. If they last longer, call your pediatrician. If your baby is under three months and running a fever of over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, call your doctor right away. Subscribe now.